We begin with that breaking news. A Long Island mother convicted in the drunk driving crash that killed an NYPD officer back in 2021 has just been sentenced. Let's get right to CBS News' Jennifer Bisram live outside the Queens County Criminal Courthouse. Jennifer. Hi, Mary. Jessica Bove was sentenced to 22 years in prison this morning here at the Queens County Criminal Courthouse. The courthouse was packed not only with her family, but with members of the NYPD, including the NYPD's Highway Patrol Unit. Now, it was all in support of NYPD officer Anastasios Sacos, who was killed on a Queens Highway back in 2021. Prosecutors say Bove struck and killed Officer Sacos on the LIE back in 2021, while speeding, driving drunk, and high off of marijuana. Police say before Officer Sacos was tragically struck that April night, there was a crash on the highway that he was responding to. He was part of the NYPD's Highway Patrol Unit, diverting traffic. Prosecutors say Officer Sacos, a 14-year veteran with the NYPD, left behind two young kids and wife Irene, who gave an emotional impact statement. The judge did also ask Bouvet if she wanted to say anything before he announced sentencing. All she was able to say I'm sorry. Take a listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In a panic, I asked if my husband was alive. But they couldn't tell me. I instantly doubled over in pain. On our way to the hospital, I prayed to God to please let him be alive. I needed him. I couldn't picture my life without him. At the hospital, I was told that despite their best efforts, the doctors were unable to save him. I was told my husband was dead. And Bove is a Long Island mother. Her teenager and family members were in the courtroom. I did ask if there was anything they wanted to say. All her teenage son would say to me is 22 years. That's a lot of years. Now, you may recall Bove turned down a plea deal of 16 years in prison. She is now convicted of assault. Of, she is now convicted of aggravated manslaughter, vehicular manslaughter, and leaving the scene of an accident. We're live in Kew Gardens. Jennifer Bisram. CBS 2 News. Jennifer, thank you.